Hey everybody, it's Eric from the Mature Minded Gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your very own onset dedicated server. This is going to be using Steam CMD. This is none of the coding portion. Um, I'm not good with the coding, but they have a Discord server with lots of people there who are very good with it and can help you figure out how to actually code your world. This is just to uh, get the server set up and being able to join and connect to it. As you can see, this game's got very positive reviews on Steam, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get this server set up, so let's get to it right now. First thing you need to do on your dedicated server, do not try to do this on the machine that you're going to play on, because this video will not help you with that. This is on a dedicated machine. You need to install Steam CMD. If you don't have that already, just Google it like that. Hit enter. This top link right here. We're going to do Windows today. Download right here. Hit save file. Hit it. Save it wherever your save files download to, depending on your browser. Mine's up here. Zip folder. You just want to open it. Right click on it. Extract all. Here's your Steam CMD. Now, I highly recommend that you move this to a folder. Um, if you have a spare hard drive that's an SSD or something, I recommend that you put the steamcmd.exe into a folder of its own on the extra hard drive. And then you want to go to that folder wherever you put it and then execute Steam CMD. It's going to download a bunch of files. As you see, it's going to take you longer if it's the first time you've installed it. It's going to start filling up this folder that you made. That's normal. It's just putting all the files in there for Steam. Once it's done, you should be at a command prompt like this. Then you just need to type in login space anonymous and hit enter. And that's going to log you into Steam anonymously. So as long as you're at a prompt like that, you're good. Now to download the actual server files, you need to type in app underscore update space one two zero four one seven zero and then hit enter. And that's going to download all the files for you. This could take a while depending on your internet connection, but just let it set for a little bit. And then once it gets back to the command prompt, it will be fully installed. Once it's done, you're good. This is also how you update the server. Go back through these steps right here with the, uh, logging into Steam, uh, Steam CMD.exe and then typing in this app update again. Just like we just did when you're ready for it. So when you're done, just type in exit and hit enter. You go back to the folder that you created or wherever your Steam CMD is. You want to go up to Steam Apps. Common. Your servers you have installed. So onset dedicated servers the one we just did. Yep. Alright, so once you get here, you want to load the onset server.exe. Just double click on it. It'll run real quick. And then once it's done, you just hit the X and close it back down. Now you will have a server config.json file right here. You want to right click on it and open it. Either use Notepad++ or regular Notepad, whatever you have. Um, Notepad++ is a uh, free download, so I recommend it if you uh, don't mind downloading some software. And then once you have it open, you can see here server name, game modes, put in your website URL. Uh, you want you do want to change the IP to be 0, .0, .0. Default sets at the uh, the loopback. You, so there's a couple situations where you would change this, but for most of the people watching this video and setting up your own server, you just want to. I have a set right there. Uh, this is where you can change the port. Default is 7777. Uh, you can edit that. Um, if you want it different, just make sure you open it on your firewall or router. I have a video on how to do it with your Windows firewall, but routers are different, so I recommend that you Google your router model and how to open a port if you don't know how to do that. You should be able to find some instructions there. If you can't get this open, then you will not see your server, and uh, nobody will be able to connect to it. I do recommend setting a password, at least at first, until you get uh, through setting it up in Zeus mode, because that's on by default. So anybody who connects without a password... Um, will have Zeus powers unless you turn it off. So I recommend at first you leave, uh, you put a password on it until you turn Zeus mode off, which I'll show you how to do here in a second. 
Um, down here, master list is if it shows up in the master server list that the game has. Um, set that to true if you want it to show up, or false if you do not, if you want it just to be a private server. Um, then there's a couple other settings down here you can change, but uh, most of you will leave them the same. Just make sure you hit file and save as when you're done editing this file. Um, next thing you want to do is I'm going to show you how to do the Zeus settings. So you want to go back into your folder. You want to go to packages. There's the Zeus package. To server. IO. And then your config file right here. You want to edit it. And this is where you can turn it on and off. By default, it is set to on right here, true. You want to change that to false if you want Zeus mode turned off. Leave it to true if you want it turned on. Then make sure you hit file save as when you're done editing that. And I think that's all the basic settings. Like I said, I don't know any of the programming side, but there's a lot of tutorials on their Discord, um, which I'll put a link at the bottom of this video you can find to help you do the actual coding part of the server. This is just to get it basically set up for you. So once you're all done with all this, don't forget you got to open your ports. You want to go back out to the onset server and then just launch the onset server.exe just like that. Uh, see these three ports right here? By default, you want to have all of those open to have a fully accessible server. So 7777, 7776, and 7775. All need to be open on your firewall and router. And then you're good to go. You should be able to connect to your server and get into it and uh, have a good time. Hopefully this video helped you. I would greatly appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button to help me keep doing these videos for you. Uh, it motivates me and uh, means a lot to me. Thanks for watching and have yourself a great night.